Hi guys, welcome to Symbol Tech Working Bench. Today I'm gonna do the AMCAD Nelson Pass amplifier on the breadboard because I want to see how that performs and to make sure that everything working good before start soldering all the components on the PCB board. So without further ado, let's jump to my working bench and start tinkering with AMCAD Nelson Pass amplifier. These are the components that I'm gonna use in the breadboard. Few power resistors, some capacitors, power transistor, the FET and the transistor, also a diode. But the diode in the schematic is not so. I add it and I modify some resistor value. So let me go to show you what I'm talking about. So how you can see here, there is no any diode apart of LED and the resistor that I eliminated from the schematic and also this capacitor is not in here. So it's everything apart of those ones. But I add the diode here to protect take the FET on the input because as we can see here from the output we have this resistor that come back to the input on the FET. So I don't know if everybody knows but a speaker act also as a motor or as a generator or as an alternator so generate voltage and frequency when it's moving alone. Practically if the amplifier run and the bus let's see coming or any other frequency it will gonna move the cone out and the cone when needs to come back in that moment generate a voltage and a frequency that it will we're gonna put it back on the input on the FET. So adding here a diode and increasing this resistor to 1.5k, I put more safety and I protect more this FET. So let me show you about what I'm talking with the speaker and I'm gonna bring the multimeter and the speaker here, I'm gonna connect it and I'm gonna show you how the speaker generates frequency and the voltage. So now I'm gonna explain the reason why I add that diode on the schematic and why I increase the resistor to 1.5k because let's connect these probes to the speaker and I can see the multimeter is measuring AC voltage now it's zero but see when the speaker start moving have a look there how generate frequency and generate also the voltage so that voltage if it's coming back to the input on the FET can destroy the FET so that's why I add the diode and I increase the resistor to 1.5k in order to keep safe that uh, FET let me mount everything on the breadboard and then I'm gonna put it all in the table and we're gonna try to see how that sound and we're gonna do also an oscilloscope test why not so here we go everything is uh, already connected so I connect also the multimeter to the point where uh, it say on the paper that uh, I need to do some adjustments so it say that in the drain of the Q1 Q1 is uh, this one so on the drain here I connected this uh, wire and I put the, the multimeter in order to do this adjustment so you say if it's if I'm powered with the 19 volts I should have setting that point to 10 volts uh, against the ground so let's do first that uh, adjustments and then we're gonna try to play a song so let me power on this uh, my trusty power supply so I'm powering how you can see with 19 volts then we have 11 volts there is some boom because the, the signal wire is hanging here around touching the ground maybe if I just remove from here see there is no more that hum and now let me just adjust this port to that voltage that say on the paper 10 volts so on the other side and here we go 10 volts on that point that is stayed uh, schematic now let me just uh, play some sound let me bring my mobile with some non-copyrighted song let's play this uh, copyrighted song
Oh, doesn't sound bad. And I bring it to 11 volts because as you can see now I'm powering 24 volts. So for sure if uh, I'm powering with high voltage I should bring also there the point with a bit more high. So I'm really pleased with the sound. Uh, you see guys sound really pure, really nice. So this is what I need for my monitoring sound of my videos. So let me now connect the oscilloscope. Okay so I set up my uh, function generator to 1 kilohertz. I have the power supply on but it's not yet uh, opened the uh, output. As you can see the oscilloscope is connected to the output through an 8 ohm uh, load resistor so now let's give a try to see how it will gonna work so let's power on the amplifier let's wait a bit until it's uh, getting uh, up so as you can see here we already are up so let's increase the amplitude until the clipping so is there the clipping so we are here without clipping so we are getting out uh, 6.7 and we are putting in uh, 352 millivolts in the input and this one still measuring the, the adjustment point it's 11 uh, volts because I'm still powering with 24 volts so if I do a math with the 6.6 .6, let's see 6.6 uh, volts output I am getting a power of 5.5 watts in class A which is really more than enough for my purpose so this amplifier is to monitor my sound while I'm editing my YouTube videos so I'm really happy with it. let's give also a try with 20 Hertz let's see how it's going and with 20 kilohertz so let me go to 20 hertz right now so i set up in 20 hertz the function generator and let's now bring a bit amplitude to see what is doing so for the 20 hertz i'm still getting an output of 6.8 so a bit more than uh, than the one kilohertz and let's see now with uh, 20 kilohertz okay so i set up a 20 kilohertz now my um, function generator and let's increase a bit the amplitude let's see how it's performed so in 20 kilohertz it's pulling a bit better it's giving me a bit a better uh, output uh, power and i'm really happy it's handling good and as i say guys taking consideration that it's just in a breadboard once i have everything soldered in the board it will gonna perform better definitely because here some contacts they are not perfectly but still like that still running very well i can see guys the amplifier work really well in the breadboard you know it's just a breadboard and the components they are not making a uh, proper contact between each other it's not like when you are soldering the components on the pcb board let me know in the comment below what do you think about the modification i did to the schematic add in the diode and modify the resistor from 1k to 1.5k i'm really happy how the amplifier sound and then the oscilloscope test went well 5.5 watts is more than enough for this desk when i am editing my video to monitor the sound to make sure i have really good sound this uh, video end here but the project is not finished stay tuned please subscribe activate the notification bell because next part it will gonna be when I'm gonna start soldering the components on the PCB board and I'm gonna do a test also with the square wave to see how that perform then the third part it will gonna be when I'm gonna solder all the components on the PCB board for the preamplifier that I have for this project because the last part it will gonna be when I'm gonna mount in the chassis everything the preamplifier amplifier power supply and then I'm gonna put it over here and I'm gonna give a try so until the next video guys bye bye